Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Basin here. This video is about Basin.js uh, version 2. Basin.js is an easy helper that lets you configure your forms um, so you can decide to render success divs or redirect to a different page. Uh, we help you hook up reCAPTCHA, hCAPTCHA, Cloudflare Turnstile, um, and some of these other things. So you can submit your forms without leaving the page or you can leave if you want to. Um, and we do all the heavy lifting of configuring different spam options um, for you. So let's get started hooking it up and we'll hook up the, the simplest possible use case here. You do need a paid Webflow subscription in order to add custom scripts to your page. So we'll start with that. We'll take our, our custom Basin.js script and we're going to add that in on our contact page. So if you hit contact down on the settings cog here, if you scroll down to before closing body tag and paste in our js.usebasin.com script, go ahead and hit save. The next step is going to be on your form here. So if you click into one of the inputs, it'll give you the entire nested structure. And then just go ahead and select one of these. It doesn't really matter. They seem the same, but you need to be consistent. So I'm going to select get in touch form. So you can see the options over here. There's somewhere to put an action and custom attributes. So we're going to go to Basin. And I already have an account. And I've created a form. I'm going to take my form endpoint from Basin over to Webflow here. And that's going to be my action. And I'll make sure it's post. Then I'm going to set um, database and form is a, is a data attribute on my form. And this lets the script know that we should take over this form and uh, apply some of these automations for you. So we're going to say database and form is true. So this is what it'll look like. Action, post, database and form true. And this is the most simple uh, configuration. So we'll go ahead and publish that. And then if we come back over here and refresh, we'll say Anthony, 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 Canada.com. Uh, testing the default and we'll go ahead and hit submit and you can see that it uh, automatically rendered all right now that we got uh, one of the most simple submissions let's try a, a more complicated feature let's hook up um, the invisible captcha typically this involves a lot of programming and it can be a total bear to get going but let's see how easy it is with Basin.js. So we're just gonna go over to the docs and we're gonna copy database and spam protection. We're gonna add that attribute to our form. So if we go back to Webflow, drill down back into our form, we're gonna add another custom attribute on the right hand side here. We're gonna call it reCAPTCHA. And then we'll go to Basin and make sure that under settings, spam, we're gonna require a valid recapture response along with the submission. Otherwise we'll flag it as spam. We go back to our inbox and we'll hit publish on our form here. Give that a second to publish. If we refresh, we'll see the uh, protected by recapture in the bottom right. And if we scroll back up and we'll fill this out, Anthony, yeah. Testing invisible capture. Go ahead and submit. And we head back to our inbox here. You'll see that I've just received that submission and it wasn't like to spam. And also I've got that in my Gmail inbox as well. So it would be the same for turnstile or um, Let's actually do hCAPTCHA. Turnstile is a little more complicated because it involves you having your own Cloudflare account and getting your own API keys. But if we if we take a look, let's try hCAPTCHA. Um, it's a different one. Same setup in Basin here. We've got to go to um, settings, spam, disable reCAPTCHA, turn on hCAPTCHA, go ahead and hit save. We'll go back to our data attribute here on our form and change this to hCAPTCHA and then we'll publish that 
give that a second. And if we go back to our form here and refresh, now we're using um, HCAPTCHA. We'll go Anthony, Anthony, Anthony testing invisible H captcha. Oh, look, we're even going to get prompted. Boy, these are tough. Uh, assuming we want some crowns here. And then if we go back to our submissions inbox, we should have the one I just submitted at 146 from each captcha, and I've also got that in my Gmail inbox. Um, and that's all there is to it. So there's a few options we didn't try out, but I think you get the idea. You can you know, build and configure your own divs, and there's also turnstile or none. Uh, redirecting, you also just configure that in basin. Um, aside from that, basically the default options of the box are designed for web flow, although this does work anywhere on the web. Um, yeah, I'll make a different video about that. Um, as always, reach out to support at usebasin.com if you have any questions or feature ideas. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, happy form building. I hope you guys make some slick looking forms for your clients that are on brand and match your designs. That's all.